Starfield shipped without DLSS support, so we gotta fix that right now. AMD said they did not stop Starfield and Bethesda from using DLSS. They said by all means use everything, but for some reason they didn't take the few hours that it would have taken because that's how long it took the modders to make the DLSS support. First off, why would you want to use DLSS? We've already got FSR and it's a very similar technology. It looks pretty good and it runs almost exactly the same as DLSS in this game. But DLSS, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, it does look better and it will give you a bit of a performance boost. It gave me like 15 frames, maybe 20 frames per second here and there. Uh, and I'm running at 3840 by 1600, 21 by 9. So it did give me a bit and it does look really good. So let's get it installed. Please don't go out and buy a retail copy of Windows because it's going to cost you 10 to 12 times as much as this. This is where I've been getting my Windows keys for the last couple of years right here on whokeys.com. They're my longtime sponsor as well, so thanks for that. The difference is this is an OEM key, so it's tied to the hardware, but you'd have to buy this 10 or 12 times to make it equal the cost of retail. The other difference is you'll be doing your own tech support here because you don't get the Microsoft tech support but we're building a system and I don't think any of us have ever used Microsoft's tech support. So that's why I like to use whokeys.com. Now they're having a back to school special. So these prices are even lower than what you see on the screen for Windows 10 Pro. We also have home uh, Windows 11. Just to note, Windows 10 Pro at this time does also unlock Windows 11. So go online and Google and make sure that Windows 11 can still be unlocked with a Windows 10 key. We have Office 2021, 2019, and 2016 here. I always recommend grabbing a copy of Windows 10 Pro. So you get 20% off of the back to school special, but if you use my coupon code TS25, you'll get 25% off. Putting in coupon code TS25, click apply, and then watch these prices come down. Wonderful. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here, go to your user center, click on my purchase orders, just view keys and codes, and you can just copy and paste your key, hit start, type activate, click on activation settings, paste it in there, click on next, and you will be activated. You know, I never liked how Microsoft has different prices for different people. If you're a home user, you're gonna pay 10 times more than an OEM builder or a corporation or something like that. And that's why I like heading to places like whokeys.com to get the OEM keys so I can pay a price that makes sense. So thanks to them for sponsoring and now to our regularly scheduled program. If you head to the Nexus, you'll see that there are a few different mods. The big one here, this is not the one you wanna use. FSR Bridge. This is my favorite one. I've tried all of those things. There's three of them right now. Uh, it works with DLSS or XESS. So what we're going to do is grab this. And this does not come with DLSS, but we've got to grab this first. So just do a manual download if you want DLSS. If you're using Intel, you can get XESS. Manual download here, slow download. And I'm just going to open up that zip file. I need to drop that into my folder. So your Starfield, if you're using Game Pass or something, you'll need to navigate to the folder where it is installed. But right here, you can just click on the cog and click on manage and do browse local files. And there's our Starfield. I'm just gonna drop this in there. Drop, all right, good. And I'm gonna need this in just a second, so I'll, I'll put it over here. The next thing we need is NVIDIA DLSS, and I've got links for this in the description. Tech Power Up did a really cool thing where they just have all of them listed here, so you can try different versions to see which one works. Some of the older games and, and that other mod seem to work best with 2.5, but this one I've been testing out with NVIDIA DLS 3.5, the latest one, and it works, and it's great. So you can download that here. If this Tech Power Up link ever disappears, there's also a GitHub link. Anyway, I'll put that link in the description. I'm just gonna grab this right here. Click on download, click on your nearest server, whatever whatever it is, Ooh, only 1%. All right, and that is also going to go into that folder, DLSS. The problem with DLSS is that it does make the image blurry. So how are we gonna sharpen it? Well, we're gonna use Reshade. So this is the last thing you need and then you'll be ready to go. So go ahead and download Reshade, 9.2, there we go. It's a setup file. So click on that and it'll be like, which game do you want to install to? You can install this as many times as you want to as many different games as you want. But I am going to type in Starfield. Now, if you're running Game Pass, this may not show up right here because I don't think it launches the same way. I don't have Game Pass, but I did some digging over here on Reddit. You're going to need to navigate to see Xbox Games Starfield content. And then the EXE file is Game Launch Helper. If you have Game Pass, I'll leave this link here too because I, I didn't know how to do it and I wanted to make sure I didn't leave you out. So there we go, Starfield, hit next. And we're gonna do DirectX 10, 11, 12. All right, select preset to install. If you have a preset you wanna try, you can install that. That's one thing I like about this version of the plugin. 
is you can install your own reshade presets, but I don't have a preset. Now, I want to install a few things. This is all up to you. SweetFX will give you the sharpening you need. But, you know, I actually like, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, Legacy Effects. Legacy Effects comes with Adaptive Sharpen, and that sharpens and doesn't produce some of the edge highlighting that you sometimes see with the newer stuff. Like with SweetFX, you have something called L a Luma Sharpen, and I don't like that as well. So, you know, you can install any ones you, any ones you like. These are all just different, you know, effects you can apply or whatever. I'm just, gra I'm just grabbing my CRT effects. You don't need to do this. Yeah, I want all of these. I like the old legacy effects. All right, that's it. All right, now we can just play. Reshade is running, there we go. Press the home button and it'll bring this up. Add on settings, okay, home. Continue, I'm just gonna continue. There we go, all the stuff here. These are all the different effects. I, I installed too many, but that's, that's fine. Now I'm just gonna do adaptive sharpening because we need it. And okay, let's finish this tutorial. There we go. So the way this works is when you go into your settings and you go into your uh, display down here, FSR, it uses FSR and dynamic resolution. So I'm going to turn my dynamic resolution down to 66, which is about where I want it to be. And then we have, um, we have to make sure that FSR is enabled because what's happening is as things go to the FSR pipeline, this plugin sends them over to DLSS instead. So it's using FSR to forward that over to DLSS. You gotta make sure your resolution scale is on and everything else is fine here. So we can go back into the game and have a look. Now see Vasco, see how sharp the, the Vasco is. That stupid icon in the background. Press our home button right here. Go to our add-ons and just watch the edge sharpness right there. I'm sorry, go to home. Watch the edge sharpness. So the adaptive sharpen, there we go, turn that on. And then you can mess with this to your heart's content. You can try Luma Sharpen if you want to or any of the other sharpening technologies, but I just like the adaptive sharpen. It looks just fine to me and it kind of matches with the film grain. Um, but yeah, this is quite a bit better, turning that on. Now, if you wanted to, you can come through here and mess with things. Oh God, look at Bloom. It gets ridiculous. Yeah, you can play, you can play around. You've got reshade now, so you can come in and mess around. You can install reshade presets or whatever you want. Uh, you can do filmic passes, which can look pretty cool, but you, you know, have to mess with the contrast and stuff. I do like Magic Bloom. And there we go. Turn that on, may as well, but then we can mess with it. Turn it down a little bit, bring up threshold a little bit, threshold. There we go. can make a whole video on how to mess with this, but uh, for now, I think we're good to go. All right, now I'm going to turn this on and we're going to pretend we're playing a PlayStation game. There we go. Snake! Everyone's dead, I think. Yeah, this feels like the worst, blurriest PlayStation game. I used to look like this, do you remember? All right, I'm gonna turn this stupid thing off. If you're worried about this not working and you're like curious, like, okay, how do I know if it's working or not? Well, there's something we can do. Just close your game, there we go. And your NVIDIA DLSS file, which is NV, there we go, DLSS. I'm just gonna put that in a folder called no. There, drop it in there. Now when I play this again, it shouldn't work because the plugin is saying, you know, send the render pipeline over to DLSS. So this will, you know, show you that it's working. Okay, now we're in game and we do not see anything. This is, all we see is just the interface because that's obviously not using DLSS. And that's because when we turn on FSR over here on our display, it's trying to forward that signal over to DLSS and it's just not working. So by turning upscaling off, now it should work again, but it's running at 48 FPS as opposed to it was running at like 68 or 69 FPS with DLS on. But there you have it. You have DLSS 3.5 in your game and it's running a lot better, looks a lot better. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know what other mods that you're very interested in. Let me know what you think of the game. Uh, no spoilers, please, because I'm going to go back and finish Baldur's Gate 3 before I come back to this. But I saw that it didn't have DLSS and that bothered me and I played it for a little bit and was like, we can just put it in there. And then, of course, the mod showed up right after. So, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Hope this made it easier for you. And um, now you got Reshade, DLSS, and you're good to go. So, yeah. We do have a sale going on right now. Just all kinds of things. But our Phoenix stuff is 30% off with the coupon code back to school. So if you need a 
new mouse, new controller. Works well with this. These mice work great with this. This is the mouse I'm using right now. Well, I've got the black version, but uh, it works amazingly well with this 3310 sensor. We have one with the 3360 sensor. And uh, yeah, it feels a lot like an Intelli mouse, so fits my hand really well. There it is. Anyway, 30% off. Use that coupon code. I'll see you on the website.